So the explanation you hear in the newspaper of how the greenhouse effects works, that is like a blanket keeping energy in the planet, is just totally wrong. That's not what happens. The energy balance of the Earth is not affected by the greenhouse effect. The way to think about it is you're sticking a radiator in the atmosphere, and the radiator is radiating energy at the ground, which warms the ground, but it's sucking energy out of the place where you put the radiator and making it colder. And so what happens in the greenhouse effect is you heat the ground and you cool the stratosphere. And when you cool the stratosphere, you're going to make more clouds. And that's what's really destroying the ozone is the combination of anthropogenic chlorine compounds and these clouds. So as long as there's still chlorine around, which is going to go on for another 50 years or something uh, before it's gotten out of the system, anything we do to cool the stratosphere will make ozone loss worse. Um, but after a period of about 50 years, the chlorine will be removed and the ozone holes will go away. Uh, the only interesting curiosity about this whole thing, and it's too bad David Fahey is not here, is that even though the United States did not sign up for the Kyoto Protocol, the attempt of the Kyoto Protocol to reduce the radiative forcing has actually not only been met but exceeded by the United States because of the regulations of chlorofluorocarbons. So we've actually beaten the goals of the Kyoto Protocol already by accident by controlling chlorofluorocarbons.